Hello and welcome to In Affinity. Uh, and also welcome to the 20th episode in our first series for Absolute Beginners. And um, so I thought well, let's do a, an edit using some of the things that we've done before. So here we got just a picture of a park in London, in fact. And uh, let's the first thing you want to do is select the sky. So if we go to the selection brush here and I start clicking here, but you know, look what's happening. It's selecting things all the way down here. And it's kind of doing, it's got subtracted. To, that's why let's put on add. Now, if I could do this, but it's still going a bit funny. Sometimes it does this, it goes a bit funny, but you can work your way around this by saying, let's go back the other way. So I'm going to undo the selection, which is deselect up there. I'm going to go from the other side, see if it likes this. I'm going to go under the trees here, like this. There we go, it's finding the edge now. It just, for some reason, didn't like it the other side. Here we go, around there, there we go. And we're just going to then paint this. If I right square bracket, I can make it a bit bigger. There we go. So I can just paint everywhere here. There we go. So I've selected here, here which is everything but the sky. Want to check to make sure? Go on the quick mask up there, and there you go. The red bit's the bit that's not selected. And so I want to reverse this, so I go to select and invert pixel selection. So now I'm selecting the sky. Got around that, okay. So now let's do a refine to get around the edge of the trees here. Right square bracket to make this a little bit bigger, and just kind of paint along the edge of the trees so it'll pick up everything, do sort of a bit at a time, then go around a little bit more, and then around a little bit more. I've done the edges, and there's some bits poking through the trees, so we'll paint over these here. And there you go, it's finding those gaps. There's some bits in there, a few bits in here, so a bit there. There we go. That's about right. So now we select the sky. So we hit apply. And what should we do to the select sky? Let's see if there's any noise in it. No, it looks okay because you could do a denoise if it's noisy sky. As sometimes skies are. But let's just go to some a basic one here. We can use this quite a lot. Is brightness and contrast. Very easy. You just play with this. It's probably too bright. Skies are usually too bright. So I'm going to turn down the brightness here and add it, make it a bit more contrasty. Turn up the contrast. And you can see it's improving there. And that's, yeah, down a bit. That's even better there, isn't it? Look at that. And just play with them until you think that's about right. That's a slightly better sky, maybe a little bit brighter. You don't want to make it too dark. There we go. So we'll merge that to select that. Now then, we want to select the trees, but we've already got the top here. So let's just do another invert. So I go select and invert pixel selection. And now if we look at the quick mask here, I've selected everything down here. I just want to chop it off at the bottom. So I'm going to go to the selection brush here, go to subtract. It's going to take away the bits down here. And just paint this down here at the edge. And do a refine and get this, these, some of these bits here and to get this to rethink this. It'll do it. Yeah, there's a bit. There you go. Let's just rethink this as well. There you go. That's good enough. That's got the trees selected there. So I apply that. And what I'm going to do to this, this is quite a dark area. So let's just lighten it a bit. So I'm going to go again to the brightness and contrast. Just click on the default here, which will bring up the control. And we're going to make this a bit lighter. Here we go. Look at that nice colour coming out there. Maybe a little bit of contrast. Not too much. Maybe down? No. No, just somewhere in the middle. Brightness is what's needed there. So we'll merge that. And then what we can do as well here 
is maybe we'll sharpen it a bit, zoom into this a bit. Can we make that a bit sharper? So I'm going to go to filters, sharpen, and then sharp mask. And remember this, start off with them at the bottom, but radius up to one is a good start. Turn up the factor until it looks okay, a bit better. And then you can sort of play with both of them, see whether it improves it, just a little bit minor stuff here. Threshold to get any noise there out. Then if I hit control zero again to go out, look at it out here and make sure that it looks reasonable. That's okay. So I'm going to apply that. Now I'm going to get further down here. So I'm going to do an invert again. So select and invert pixel selection. And now it's got the, the down here and the top. Put on the quick mask. And here's a tip. You can actually select in the quick mask, but you use a paintbrush. So I go to the paintbrush tool here, check the opacity here, and you can see it's going to paint in red at the moment. It's got black selected, and that is going to subtract. In other words, take away this because it's the, the red to the stuff. It's going to be not selected. So I can just paint this. I've got a big brush here. There you go. It's going to leave all this selected here. And so I got this selected. In fact, I think I'll take out this as well. So let's going to go to the selection brush. Make sure snap to edges is on and do a subtract and a take out. Here you go, look at the way that jumps in there. The paths, I'll treat those separately and I'll do a refine and just paint along the paths here. Make the brush a little bit smaller. There we go and Move that out the way and paths here. This is just with the mouse. There we go. So now it's selected, but just the grass here. And this big person here, oh, can we get rid of him here? See a lot of work. No, never mind. We can go into the detail on that, but that's not, that's okay. So what we'll do here then, we want to make this say a little bit greener. So what have we got to do that? Well, we've got white, white balance, haven't we? So we click on that. And I can make the colour here go a little bit greener. You don't want to go too far, because when you make it very green, it just looks silly. So just a little bit extra green there. And for grass, you can also give a bit of yellow, because you often get yellow in foliage. Just a bit. And merge that. And then also do a brightness and contrast on there, just to take the brightness just down a tiny, tiny amount, just to make it a little bit more contrast up just a little bit. That's OK. OK, and now let's going to select this and we'll do another reversal. So we're flip flopping this. So select invert pixel select. Let's have a look at what we've got selected here. So we've got the white to come out and we just want to make the rest of this red. So I'm going to get the paintbrush again. Here it's pretty big, so I'm just going to paint up here because all I want to keep is the the paths. And I'm going to do one more thing there with the paths. There we go. And I could go to refine again, but I can't see it because I haven't got the select brush. I could go up here to select, and where is it? And I need to turn off this, don't I? Turn off the quick mask first. There's better. No select. Now I can see refine down here. And look at that. Is everything OK there? Yes, that's OK. Everything's good. We'll refine this as well. It will soften the edges, a little bits of grass around there, even small things. So that's nice. Now then, what can I do to this? Very simple thing. Back to brightness and contrast again. And I turn up the brightness. It just makes that path just shine a bit. What can I do with contrast? Maybe a bit of contrast as well. And that's very strong because that pulls you into the picture there, doesn't it? So we'll merge that. And then I'll deselect. I can use up here. That's the deselect. And that's our final picture. And something new as well is if you go down here to the history tab there, what you've got in here, and this scrolls backwards, every single little thing that you did, and you can go back. It's like if you had an undo and you saved all the undos. That's what this is. 
So if I click on back here, I can see I'm going backwards in time to the things that I was doing. I can go back to the bottom and just click on the bottom one and I got to the very end again. And in fact, I can go to slider here and I can slide backwards. So I can go, here's the final picture, slide it all the way back, and there's the beginning picture. And slide it all the way forwards, there's the final picture. And if I do a file export, that will save it on a new one there. Usually click on JPEG and export there will take you to a uh, saving it. Or if it was a JPEG already, you can click on File, Save there, and you can even go down to Print and just follow that. So there we go. That's a longer one, but I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching.